Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is volatile versus non-volatile in chemistry. All right, so volatility is the measure of a substance's desire and ability to become vapor, otherwise gas. So if you take an example of having a flask full of water, uh, this is all liquid water, but it doesn't stay that way. We know that if we leave a cup of water just out, it'll eventually evaporate, and that's because of the process of this liquid water and its molecules slowly becoming vapor. So with every liquid, there's a natural equilibrium of the liquid molecules wanting to escape out and they burst out of the surface and then they become a gas. And this is just because enough of them will have various energies that will be able to get them out uh, and of entropy and them moving so fastly in so many directions that just eventually some of them become gas. And so this is how we have vapor pressure, uh, liquid molecules becoming gas molecules. And volatility is basically how much does this happen? So with water, it happens. If you have a cup of water, it's going to take a while for it to evaporate. Um, and every liquid has its own volatility. So ethanol, let's look down here, is the stuff that all alcohol is made of, is actually much more volatile than water. So if you have them, and these are both enclosed flasks, just because uh, scientists need to observe what's happening. We can't just let our ethanol or our water escape into the environment. So many, many, many more ethanol particles will become gas or vapor than water. And this is because the intermolecular forces that keep ethanol bonded together are a lot weaker than the intermolecular forces that keep water bonded together. So ethanol is like, I don't really care if I'm next to everyone that's like me, I'm just going to escape into the gas. And because of this, there's more gas particles, and so the vapor pressure increases. So we would describe ethanol as volatile and water as non-volatile. And there's no real hard cutoff, it's just kind of a comparison thing. Which one does it more than the other? So another example of something that's very volatile is uh, frozen dry ice or frozen carbon dioxide. And that actually goes from being a complete solid to a gas. It sublimates and that's extremely volatile. It happens very quickly. Um, all of those solid particles want to escape and become gas particles. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been volatile versus non-volatile in chemistry.